can't believe I'm here in Australia. And what better place to start my journey than in Melbourne and at the very heart of Melbourne in Federation Square. Can't wait to see the rest of it. Melbourne is Australia's second largest city and during the 1850s gold rush it was one of the world's wealthiest. Now referred to as the cultural capital of Australia, the city's a rich mix of cosmopolitan chic and old world charm. That's Flinders Street Station behind me and I'm actually on De Grave Street which is the entrance to the famous laneways. The laneways and arcades take you on an intriguing journey through the heart and soul of the city and it's a great way to uncover Melbourne's true personality. Oh gosh, there's so many gorgeous smells wafting out of every single bar and cafe. It's delicious. At one time, these narrow thoroughfares were service lanes for horses, but thanks to some deft preservation, they've become the place to hang out, brimming with little eateries, bars and boutiques. See, I like every single one of these things. There's so many chain stores all over the world now that have the same things in. It's just so nice to find unique stuff. I've seen too much in here already. <laughs> Well, this is quite a contrast to sort of hip, trendy laneways. This is the Block Arcade and sort of more in the centre of, of the shopping area, really. And you can see some lovely old-fashioned tea shops and nice jewellery shops. And after a whirlwind shopping adventure, it's time for a little pick-me-up. I do love my coffee. And you know, most people say the Italians are it where coffee's concerned. They haven't tasted Melbourne coffee yet. Well, I've left the city centre behind me now, crossed over the River Yarra and I'm heading off toward Southgate, which apparently is full of even more cafes and restaurants. The south side of the river is also home to the Art Centre with its many theatres and the newly opened Melbourne Recital Hall. I really like Melbourne, you know. I haven't been here that long, but I feel as though I know it already. It's just so small, so manageable. It's great. Add to that the magnificent MCG and Rod Laver arenas, plus the beachside district of St Kilda just down the road, and you soon start to realise that Melbourne has something truly special to offer. You can cram a lot into a day in Melbourne, and believe me, I have. Restaurants, cafes, bars, culture. Oh, I need to relax now. Nice massage, I think.